So apparently Google has now shown us how to beat Reddit or outrank Reddit when it comes to certain keywords. Over at Search Engine Journal, they have this post. Google shows us how to beat Reddit and big brands. Now, they say in this post how to beat Reddit, but they also throw in and big brands. And this is from Gary Isles. He's a Google analyst. He shares his thoughts on how small sites can compete Reddit and big brands. Well, this is a breakdown of a video where Google's Gary Isles was interviewed and then SEO Journal created this blog post about it. Now, I got this from the Hoth, or I received an email from the Hoth, and I just, I'm just i using all this to break this down for you because I don't know if any of this is new information, but it's just enlightening to the fact, especially for me, I'm not an SEO. I, I don't practice SEO in the, or in the, I wouldn't say that, I'm an SEO where I'm practicing the dark arts of SEO. I'm not trying to manipulate the search engines, but I still want to know what's going on as a content creator, as a marketer, specifically creating content to generate traffic to my offers and then ultimately add people to an email list. Utilizing my proven top strategy, blogging and creating a website is still part of that. And I'm still interested in what Google is doing, what Google is saying, and what we're seeing, especially when we're looking at what used to happen in the golden age of affiliate marketing or affiliate marketing websites where you could generate a bunch of content, add in your affiliate links, and just rank based upon getting certain things right or turning certain SEO knobs that Google had trusted or Google was trusting and then allowing you to rank and have a chance or as most people saw it and most people see it now, the ability to create content, helpful content, and put it up and not have to worry about Reddit, Quora, Forbes, all these other high power websites taking over and doing what Google has come out and said is abuse because their domain authority is such that they can write an article about anything, no matter even if they are or should be considered an expert on it. So back to this and looking at this Hoth email, the hidden power of long tail keywords. Now, I don't know that the hidden power of long tail keywords is a mystery. But I think the definition of long tail keywords, if you go back to this article over at Search Engine Journal that the Hoth linked to, I think it's interesting that Gary Isles in this talk was talking about long tail keywords and other strategies. Gary next talked about long tail keywords and he said a lot of newbie SEO gurus define long tail keyword phrases with a lot of words in it. That's 100% wrong. Long tail keyword phrases are keyword phrases that searches rarely use. So here you're talking about long tail keywords being low volume. Or Gary says, long tail keyword phrases are keyword phrases that searchers rarely use. It's the rareness of a keyword use that makes them long tail, not how many words are in the keyword phrase. I think this is semantics. I think it's just him looking at it from a different angle and a different lens. But it does bring up some good points, and I want to take a look at this. So what I did is I went to ChatGPT, and I had ChatGPT read the post. Because I wanted to focus in on the Reddit angle, because there is a lot of hate, or I wouldn't say hate, maybe that's a strong word, but there is a lot of folks that are like, we can't beat Reddit. Reddit can beat us for anything. Google is in love with Reddit, and of course, Google has a partnership with Reddit. And none of that's new information, but I think it's important to understand that I want ChatGPT to read this post and tell me how to beat Reddit. So it searched the post and it came out with this. And I don't think any of this, again, is earth shattering or new news, but it says to beat Reddit and big brands and Google search results, follow these strategies. Innovative approach. Utilize long tail keywords. Capitalize on agility. This one was kind of interesting, saying that small sites can make quick, bold decisions without the bureaucracy that slows down big brands. Again, big brands were able to beat us in Google because Google decided that big brands should win out no matter what they write about. And of course, Reddit, well, is Reddit. But it doesn't specifically talk about Reddit, but it goes into the long tail keyword strategy. And that's what I really wanted to dive into in this video. So I want to talk about utilizing long tail keywords and build gradually using the information in the post. Give me an example in the CRM niche. Because I think that 
If you're trying to rank for the CRM keyword or in the CRM niche, you're definitely going to run head up against Reddit. So it did give me a step-by-step -step strategy based on utilizing long tail keywords and building gradually, specifically for the CRM niche. Now it came up with some long tail keywords and it said use, you know, use tools to look for long tail keywords. And it said best CRM for small businesses, CRM for real estate agents, and affordable CRM software. Now, long tail here comes into play because it's the best CRM, or it's not just the best CRM, but it's the best CRM for small businesses. Again, I'll go against against what Gary said. Gary was saying in his talk, he was saying it's not about the length of the phrase or the number of words in the phrase. It's the search intent or the volume, the people, or the fact that people aren't looking for this as much. Well, more people are just going to type in best CRM just to sheer laziness or the fact that they don't consider them or they're not thinking themselves as a small business. And then, of course, CRM for real estate, this is just a more targeted search, which again goes back to the idea of long tail keywords. The fact that real estates are going to be very specific for their needs and they're going to search for that keyword. So it was all good information here that ChatGPT came back and gave me. But what I really wanted to dive into was now give me the idea for 10 more blog posts and long tail keywords to write and capture the traffic for CRM software. And again, none of this is groundbreaking or earth shattering, but what I wanted to do was just dive into this a little, little more or dive into this a little more. So I went back to the search engine journal, long tail keywords, and I was like, well, where is where did they get their information? And all this information actually came from this video right here. Watch Gary's answers from this question at the 20 mark. This video right here. So I just went to YouTube and I checked out the video about what was going on. And then of course I was like, well, let's just go to Gemini and say, according to the video or break down the video and tell me how to beat Reddit. Because that was the big selling point of the article. Now the Hoth was talking about long tail keywords. Search Engine Journal was focused in on beating Reddit. And then of course the focus is long tail keywords. But according to the video, Smaller brands can compete with big publishers in the SERPs by focusing on high quality content, user experience, and technical SEO. Here are some key takeaways from the video. And the video basically says what the search engine article says because they got the content from the video. But focus on high quality content, target long tail keywords, technical SEO. That was interesting to me because, you know, Google pushed back on that and said, don't worry about technical SEO or technical SEO is not something you need to worry about. You should be writing your content for humans first, but he is all about make sure that your technical SEO is sound and of course user experience. Again, nothing new, but I didn't really get anything from this video or from this chat or even from watching the video or looking in the transcript specifically about beating Reddit. So I took that information or I took the transcript over to ChatGPT and I ask it straight up, give me what Gary said about beating out Reddit. So it says, Gary Isles provided advice for small sites wanting to compete against Reddit and big publishers. Again, going back to big brands and big publishers. Search results during his session at SERP Conference 2024, he suggested a few strategies. Empathetic marketing, innovative angles, leveraging long tail keywords, quality content, consistency and patience. So, you know, these are all the same strategies. So the focus goes back to leveraging long tail keywords. And I like what it says here. Don't underestimate the power of long tail keywords. Although they might not generate as much traffic individually, they can collectively bring substantial traffic to the site. Targeting these less competitive keywords can provide a steady stream of visitors, which takes me down to actually doing keyword research at this point and getting away from what Google tells you about don't worry about keywords, don't write for people, don't do technical SEO, but going to a keyword tool and looking for best CRM software, we can see that best CR CRM software has a search volume of 2,400. And you can see here that Reddit is ranking here and then some bigger brands, PC Mag, Zapier, Captera, and then Reddit. But if we were to go for affordable CRM software, and again, this is a long tail keyword, in the sense that it has a low search volume, you can see jetpack.com, the uschamber.com, and seangram.me, expertmarket.com, Zapier, or Zapier, no, Zapier, <laughs> uh, pipedrive.com, and then Reddit at number seven. But Reddit still shows up for this. 
But it's interesting to see how we might be able to do this. And I want to actually go after this affordable CRM software keyword, or I want to do a test to see if I could get traffic for affordable CRM software, because this keyword, long tails, low search volume, it doesn't really matter. This keyword calls out to a little different audience for people looking for CRM software, whether you are looking for actual CRM or you're just using the term CRM sort of generically. And I think that's a big problem too with this keyword or understanding I think is a big problem for people that try to rank for certain types of keywords like affordable CRM or the best CRM. But I wanna go after affordable CRM with the focus of what I do here at 30 Minute Marketing being people that are online or coming online and they need a CRM, a customer relationship management software, typically for or looking at it from the angle of building an email list or selling products and then tracking your customers after they buy your online products and having one of those options or looking at some of the options that I use in that realm of what CRM is. So I went to Koala Writer and I'm going to use AI to generate these articles. And of course, I'm going to edit them. But I came up with this article, Affordable CRM Software, the Top Solutions for Small Businesses. Now, again, I want to change that, I think. And what I did is running an online business as a solopreneur requires a lot of multitasking. Or I made sure to make sure that it was talking about solopreneurs and finding the right tools can make all the difference. So for small businesses, I think I want to change this. and I want to refocus this again on solopreneurs or individuals getting started online, come up with a, a word to identify that and the fact that people are looking for affordable and typically affordable is in the free realm. So I wrote this article with Koala Writer and then I went to my MedPoster AI because I want to utilize Medium because utilizing Medium and doing Parasite SEO is the same thing as using Reddit and that's what you're seeing on those Reddit results. So if you go back and you were to read this best CRM software, the right here, what's the best CRM software? This is in the marketing category. This is going to be comments and, you know, an article or a thread that was started by someone that is deep and heavenly in Reddit trying to get links back to their content, talking about the best CRM software, whether or not they're doing it because they are all in on helping people with getting the best CRM software or they are manipulating it and doing Parasite SEO, just getting their affiliate link in there. It doesn't really matter. The fact is that it's something that is being done both for best CRM software and affordable CRM software. So I'm going to use my MedPoster AI to utilize the power of Medium, which is not Reddit in the scale of Google's eyes, but it does hold more weight than, say, 30minutemarketing.net, which is my blog. So to take that back to my blog... I did affordable CRM software, top solutions for small business. I went ahead and went with that small business for now. Again, I may change that, but I did focus down here on a solopreneur. So I kind of like that. It's okay. I'm not really sold on it yet, but that's part of generating content and seeing which direction you want to go and make sure that I'm targeting the audience that is applicable or the audience that I think applies to the content that I create for 30 minute marketing, that being a solopreneur and someone coming into the online scene and getting started and understanding that a CRM is what they need, but not sort of at the level of Salesforce or, you know, an actual CRM that a Salesforce or a sales team uses for taking calls and physical addresses and all these kind of things. We're really just interested in a few bits of information like the person's name and their email address. And that's really how we contact them and keep in touch with them. And the fact of which pro products that they buy and how can we target that once they buy certain products? How can we then interact with them once they buy certain products or even interact with our content? How can we interact with them based upon that information that the CRM has given us? And there's a lot of detail there and nuance about CRMs, but I think it's important to understand that. So I also, again, I went back to Medium because I also use my MedPoster AI to write this article. And this article is basically just talking about CRM and what CRMs need or your needs for CRMs. And then I linked back to 30 minute marketing again, utilizing the power of medium to link back to my content as a strategy to use Parasite SEO to get people that are looking for an affordable CRM software 
back to my recommendation on my blog and or if and when I make a video about this, adding in the power of YouTube, my blog, and Medium, all to beat Reddit with this idea of long tail keywords or looking for keywords with low search volume. And then real quick, I went over to Google and I did a search for site for Medium and 30 minute marketing. And you can see here, medium.com. Two days ago, I have the importance of CRM for small businessing. So it got indexed and it is there. It is available to be found on the internet versus Again, 30minutemarketing.net, which doesn't have that actual or, you know, juice, if you will, to rank or to index like that when it comes to, you know, Google and Medium and the power and, of course, what you see with Reddit. So then I went to Google and I searched for affordable CRM software, which we saw this in the tool that I was using, Keyword Gap, to look at the, you know, the power or the rankings in the SERPs. But I always like to go to Google and just see what they're showing. And I wanted to check out out of the top three, this SeanGraham.me and see just how powerful his site is because his site is actually over the discussion forums as well as over the Reddit. So he is technically beating Reddit based upon what Gary Isles has said with this low competition or long tail keyword, affordable CRM software. Then I went over to Moz to check his score. He has a domain authority of 31, a page authority of 39, and he's ranking for almost 2,000 keywords are coming up on it pretty soon. And you can see some of the keywords that he's ranking for and then some of his competitors, which one of them is reddit.com. And then one quick look at another long tail keyword in the same aspect or in the same vein of going for CRM software for real estate agents. This is a long tail keyword that actually has a higher search volume than just affordable CRM. And you'll notice here that Reddit doesn't show up in the top 10 results but Forbes does, which is a giant brand. Blog.hubspot, hubspot.com, they show up for CRM. Of course, HubSpot being a CRM itself probably makes sense that they're targeting real estate agents or they're using the long tail keyword CRM software real estate agents to outrank Reddit and or other big brands like Forbes because Forbes is even bigger than, than HubSpot or they're probably pretty close if you were to check. And really, that's what we're looking at here. And all this information that I provided you in this video was not really new information, but it's where we are. It's the state of us, us as content creators, marketers using content marketing to generate traffic from our content or to create content to generate traffic to get to our offers, ultimately so we can put people on an email list because we want to either as an affiliate we want to get them to click on our affiliate link because we know our recommendations are going to help them or get them back to our own offers because we're generating our own training or our own software. Maybe you built out your own software. So all of that's going to matter as you build your brand to build content, knowing that Google is saying it. They always said it. But is it true? We know Reddit has that power, but we also know Medium has that power. So we can utilize Reddit. We can utilize Medium. And the fact that Parasite SEO is still a real thing in the world of getting your content found. But again, I'm not looking at this from a lens or the angle of an SEO and trying to do dark magic. I'm not trying to be a black hat SEO or even a gray hat SEO, even though some people might say that that is a simple fact of the matter. If you're going to create content, you have to do technical SEO, which Gary Isle said you should focus on, but you have to do it in a gray hat manner. No, I think you can still be above board but you have to understand that, yes, technical SEO is going to come into play if you are putting content up on a blog, which you should be doing. I don't think those days are over. I think the golden age of creating a site just for the power or the aspect of generating traffic, like what was available for about 10 years where you could create a branded site with no face and just load it up with content and then utilize the power of topical authority and Google would rank you because it saw you as an expert. It moved away from that and it shifted and it said, no, you're not an expert on that. Big brands are an expert on that. They're using the exact same strategy that you're using, but we're just going to say that big brands, because of their domain authority and their power of their website, we're going to trust them more. And Google straight up did that. I mean, that's just obvious whether they come out and say it or not. So we have to look at that and we have to be realistic about it when we are as content marketers trying to generate traffic. Again, going back to a strategy where we can say, okay, I'm going to create YouTube content on this. I'm going to post this on my blog. 
I'm going to link back to my blog from Medium, which is what I'm doing. Or if you want to choose and use Reddit, I personally don't use Reddit, but I don't think it's a bad idea if you want to get into that world. And once you get the ability to utilize all these different traffic sources, because when you first start out, you need to just focus on one. And then you need to add a second one and then the third one. And then later on, then as you grow, or if you find the need that you need to grow, then you add a fourth one, a fifth one, but you generate and you move your brand or you think you think building a brand and you're building brand believers around this idea. In this case, targeting CRMs, that you are the authority on CRMs, even if Forbes is ranking for it, even if HubSpot is ranking for it, that you as an individual, as you as a person, they can come to you and get a different viewpoint or a different level of the viewpoint because they are looking for what they're what Google is saying you get over at Reddit because they're saying, oh, Reddit is user generated content and they're not just doing it because they're interested in getting a click on their affiliate link. They're doing it because they're interested in that community. They're interested because that thing is their passion. And that's why they decided to put Reddit above that and discussion of fo- discussions and forums above what was the affiliate site because Google decided that the affiliate site was just there to earn affiliate commissions and not actually help people. But I don't think that was the case all the time or even most of the time. And with that, I've said what I wanted to say today about SEO and Parasite SEO and Reddit and Medium and Google and understanding that we as content marketers, we still need to be out there fighting the good fight to get our content found so we can generate traffic, help people out with that content to generate that traffic over to our offers that we know are going to help people add those people to an email list and build a profitable online business. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.